So there's been a lot of um, YouTube controversy in the last couple of days. And it all started with um, um, Lisa Cabrera and I think somebody named Michael Anderson. Now, I guess they had some type of issue on YouTube. Lisa Cabrera put out a video. Somebody think and she had talked about this. I think on Sunday she had talked about this and she did a video about somebody about hanging white people and this guy didn't take too kindly to it so he made a video trying to threaten her think pulled a gun out on her um trying to call her employers trying to get her fired basically trying to get her banned from youtube so and the guy says he isn't a white supremacist now, i'm not going to play the video you know if you want to watch the video you go look it up yourself but basically he was calling people calling her black supremacist black b um he referenced i think phil from the advice show didn't reference his name but i think he did reference the guy with a million subscribers so you knew where that was but um so yeah, there was a lot of controversy there. And, and let me tell you something. That guy, over the comments he made about this woman, he should have been checked. Some man should have checked him on that a long time ago. Because I watched the live stream yesterday. And it was the advice show live stream. It was a channel from Philip Scott show. And he didn't now... Before I say something, I, I, you know, I do watch Phil's channel. I, there's some things I agree with him on and some things I don't agree with him on. So let's get that clear because people will sit there and say, well, if you talk about him, then you hate him. And then you, you know, you dislike him. You can agree with some things he says and you can disagree with some things he says. You know, I don't have to sit there and be a fanboy and, and worship everything he says. I don't do that. But continuing. He did not want his name being mentioned on his channel. And he wasn't going to give him any airplane. And I said before. You know if somebody's going to threaten a woman like that. They have to be checked. And at the end of the day. That man was not checked. That man wasn't checked. Somebody should have got on YouTube and checked that bull. Say, look, I don't know who you think you are, but you ain't going to go threaten none of our women. Now, she ain't do nothing to you. So I don't. And if you don't agree with what she's saying, why are you watching her videos in the first place? He was not checked. Somebody should have put a video out about him and said something to him. And then Phil will sit there and say, well, you know, we shouldn't do that. We shouldn't do that. We shouldn't give him airplay. We shouldn't reference him. No, because they're going to continue to do it. And this is the problem. We're so, we got to stop being passive. We have to stop being weak. And I'm not calling the advice show weak, but we have to go toe to toe with these people when they start disrespecting us. And that's what they need to, people need to start doing. Okay. You know. I think you know that it was just wrong, and 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 the reason being is that black people go online and they will attack black women. They will call them all types of names. They will call them all types of bees, all types of hood rats. So at the end of the day, at, at the end of the day, guess what? They do it, so they're going to think it's okay for them to do it. Any, any, you know, because we, you have women, you have men going online attacking these women too. So when they do it, the one, that, those the other groups will sit there and do the same thing, and they will sit there and they will co-sign with them. 
They will co-sign with them and they will be all up on his gun say, yeah, you know, right. This is how black women are. Because we, at the end of the day, we have no kind of code in our community. I'm not going to I'm not going to, you know, side with no white person or no racist person to attack another black person. I don't care if I don't agree with them. I don't care if I, I if they did something wrong. I'm not going to do that. I am not going to sit there and have them rank. I'm not going to contribute into the bringing down of another black person to I'm not going to rank on another black person to them because at the end of the day it does no good because if you if because once you start doing that then they're going to feel well he sat there and criticized them no I don't care what they do I don't care if I disagree with them I don't care if it's I'm not going to do that you know now, if it's something crazy, if they did something wrong, then there. But I'm not going to sit there and contribute into the bringing down of another black person to them because I'm not going to make them comfortable into doing that. Because once you say it, then they're going to feel comfortable doing what they are doing. And this is what we have to stop. We got to stop attacking our own. We attack each other. We call them bees, holes, whatever, hood rats, you know, and it's okay. And and we're laughing about it. But then when other groups of people call and say something about them, we want to get up in arms and we want to fight. Okay. How you going to, how you going to fight somebody when you're doing the same thing to them? And then, and then another thing that I wanted to talk about, you have these, so-called pro-blacks out here. You have these so-called pro-blacks that will get on here and they will make videos talking about power to the people, talking about how much they hate the white man, talking about how much that we should hate white people and if we see a white person, we should do harm to them. Okay, these are the fake pro-blacks. And I've seen this on Twitter. I've seen this on Instagram. I've seen it all over the place. I'm looking at these posts. I'm saying, like, I'm like, really? You talk about you pro-black. But the moment, and here's the thing. But I, I can understand you calling out racism. I can understand you attacking racism. But... The moment that a black person harms another black person, guess what? You're silent. When there's violence within our community, you're silent. You don't want to say anything. Okay, and if we bring it up, if if people in our community are, are killing innocent children, killing innocent elderly people, you bring that up, oh, you a coon, you a sellout, oh, you don't want to say that around, don't say that around white folks. I'm like, I ain't worrying about what no white person got to say. That's that's the problem with, with y'all in the first place. Y'all so worried about, about what white folks think. You let white folks control you on how, how to think and how to act. When there's something going wrong in your community, you speak up about it. I don't care if they watching or not. They got their own problems. And if they got something to say and they got something negative to say about it, and first thing you tell me, I said, look, this is they, this, they say in a place for you to comment. We didn't ask you for your input. You're not in our community unless you're going to give us resources, unless you're going to give us funds to fix our community, then don't say nothing. That's what you do. But the moment you speak out against something that goes on in our community that that is critical and calling out the savages in the community, then, oh, you a sellout, you a coon, you an Uncle Tom. It's ridiculous. Because what these pro-blacks want you to do, they want you to think exactly like them. They want you to have this mindset that you don't talk about what goes on in the community. You only talk about what white folks do. OK. If you see a white person, you supposed to give them an evil look. Um, and these people, they're, they're so worried about 
at the end of the day, they're, they're so worried about going out there hating a white. They're they're they're, they're worried about. Who you dating? They're worrying about if the person you dating is a black woman or not. Why do I care who that person is dating? As long as that person is happy, as long as that person is, is good with what's going on with them, that's they are happy with that. I'm not dating them. I'm not worrying about what what's going on with them. That's their personal life. I wish them the best. But no, you got these people out there that will Go out there and they need to know who you dating. Are you dating a black woman? And they will go online and say the vow stuff about people who have date interracial. Well, you shouldn't date that cave though. You shouldn't date that cave beast. You know what? Oh, okay. You may not want to date a white woman. Okay. At the end of the day, that's, that's on you. Okay. I get it. But what gives you the right to sit there and dig up in somebody else's business about who somebody is dating? Huh? Come on. Because at nine times out of ten, you're not going to go up to that person and get on them about who they dating. Nine times out of ten, you're not going to do that because you might get knocked upside your head by certain people. You better not go up to anybody and tell them who, why you dating this person. You better not. And then another thing I have an issue with is y'all sit there and y'all talk about, oh, well, we got to separate. We got to go back to segregation. We got to have our own. Where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? That, that, that's my question. Where are you going to go? Because you're talking about you want to separate, but you ain't got nowhere to go. Because all you're doing is running your mouth on YouTube, you know, selling wolf tickets, but you ain't really doing nothing. You just saying stuff just to get views and and clicks but ain't really saying anything i'm not saying every pro black is a fake pro but i'm not saying that because you actually have people that are doing the work in the community you have very few but you have people are doing the work in the community but some of these pro blacks are dangerous and some of these people that go follow them you know you better you better start thinking for yourself you better start thinking for yourself and stop worshiping the people on YouTube. I understand if you like to watch their videos on YouTube, but you sitting there worshiping them on YouTube and don't have a thought process of yourself and you thought process of yourself. And then you go on and then whatever these people say, you know, you go along with. Because YouTube is different from the real world. And if you go doing that stuff in public, you might get hurt. I'm just telling you right now. Okay, somebody puts on, on YouTube, well, I am i don't, you know, I hate white people. And if you were smart, you would hate them too. Okay, all right. All right. I'm not, and I'm not defending white people. Okay. I can understand you not want to deal with racist people. I understand that. And, and by the way, it was a story about a, a little girl that committed suicide. A little girl that committed suicide. And she was being bullied to the point that which led up to it. And they were saying that you went to school with a white person. You went to school with this. You went to school with that. You know, just bullying her. Let me tell you something. I can understand you going on races all day and all night. Because I'll do the same thing too. But I do not lump all people in one group together. I do not. Wherever you go, wherever you go in your life, you're going to have to deal with white folks. You're going to have to deal with certain people. At the end of the day, whether it's at your job, whether, you know, let's say if you are driving an Uber or you getting in an Uber, you might have a white driver. What are you going to do? You're going to sit there and not get in the car because he's white. OK, I drive Uber part time, just something I do on the side. I get white passengers all the time. 
I'm not going to not take them because they white. That's stupid. Okay. I can understand. Now, they come in my car being stupid or acting racist. Oh, no, you getting out of my car at that point. But I'm not going to just hate somebody just for the color of somebody's skin. I'm not doing that. Because you are doing the same actions that these racist and white supremacists are doing. You're perpetrating them same actions. That's what you are doing. Okay, you work, a lot of you work at jobs that you have to deal with white folks. A lot of you were interviewed by white human resources people for a job. But you ain't going to talk greasy to them. I know that. You're not going to talk greasy to them. So you can sit there and talk greasy on YouTube all you want. That's not the real world. Okay. There's white folks out there that, yeah, I, I work and I work with white folks and I get along with them. I have no issues with them. Now, if they're coming off races and coming off with white supremacist ideas, then I'm not going to deal with them. But I'm not going to go up to their face and say, I hate you because you're white. I'm not going to call them a cracker, go to the face and call them all types of crackers. I'm not going to do that. I'm sorry. I'm I'm not doing that. Okay. And then if you don't agree with their ideologies, you are hated and they 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 want to hurt you because you don't agree with them. But what are you doing for the black community? You absolutely doing nothing. You are absolutely doing not a damn thing. But just sitting there talking mess on YouTube just for some clicks and views. And I said it before. Yeah, are they is there racist people out there? Yes, they are. A lot of them, they are. And I can tell if they are racist within a few minutes. Because I know how to analyze people. But that doesn't mean I'm going to turn my nose up to somebody if because if they're white because you have one okay because nine times out of ten most of these con cable contractors most of these plumbers they're white and then what do these pro blacks do about the crime in the community they absolutely say absolutely nothing and I'm gonna do a story later about a plumber that was killed around here later on I'm gonna do a video on that because that that's sad too because that needs to stop but if you talk about that you're a coon you don't like black people so you know I know that I know the haters are gonna come on that video and comment and I don't care because number one I'm not gonna block you you can comment all you want because I to me I, I don't care because I just laugh at you but um, like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think about this, the Lisa Cabrera, Michael Anderson situation. Like, I don't know the gist of the whole story, just bits and pieces. I'm giving you my opinion. Tell me what you think about the pro-blacks out there. Are the pro-blacks doing good for the community or they're just doing harm for the community? Like, comment, and subscribe.